Good morning. I just finished a workout. I kind of cheated a little bit because I had my morning remedy, my hot water with lemon slice. I had it before my run and um, I didn't really have time to like film it because uh, it's rainy season so I was like, okay, we need to run before the rain starts. So um, here we go. <laughs> So I'm starting off with water right now, and I have my hot water with lemon slice. Wasn't in the video, but I'm doing my happy dance because I just finished a long workout. 10 mile run. <laughs> Can't wait. It's kind of a little late, but I just wanted to say welcome to my first what I am a day video in the US, back here in the US, because my last one was in Tokyo. So again, I hope that you guys don't mind my scar, pimply, acne face right now, because it's life. It's natural. Oh my gosh, I shook up my GT kombucha, so hopefully it doesn't explode on me. Okay, it's good. And I took a sip of it yesterday, so that's why it's like sort of empty. It's actually a fun fact. I used to not like this this one, the Synergy Triology flavor. I didn't like it, but now I'm I'm liking it after like a year. When I was preparing my blueberries and strawberries, I saw like a bug. Maybe I'm gonna eat a bug today. Oops. No, I'm not gonna eat a bug. Don't worry. I hope not. So yeah, I'm just eating my berries and then I do this awesome thing after my post-workout or for my post-workout snack. I take my almond butter and you saw the banana, right? And then I sprinkle cinnamon on top of this. And I know this visual may not be the best visual, but here we go. I put cinnamon and then I put chia seeds on top of my post-workout necessity. <laughs> show you guys how to make some easy instant matcha at home with a mug cup with a mug cup first we're going to take our matcha powder here like this yes we're gonna take some matcha powder and mine's from Japan so we're gonna take about this amount of scooping and then the point is that we need some boiling hot water and as you can see it's my water is in a kettle thing and so I'm just putting in some water and a hot water and then I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm whisking the matcha so that the powder isn't going to really clump up, you know, and it's gonna mix well. So I'm just whisking it like this. It's very important if you like matcha, you know, to get this. I think it's worth an investment because I use this every day. I drink matcha every day. Worth an, invest an, an investment. Oh, I can't talk. Matcha is the best. Thumbs up this video if you think much is the best. dressing from Trader Joe's it's kind of like mayonnaise usually I buy the ones I buy mayonnaise vegan mayonnaise from Earth Balance and I really like the Earth Balance one but I thought you know I'd pick this up I went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's yesterday and I bought a lot of stuff as you guys can see so I just picked this pick this up just in case I needed it but I was supposed to buy avocados and I forgot to buy avocados so usually instead of using more processed or packaged things i usually put in um avocado and this is from trader joe's again and this is like tuscan kale organic kale yes and then i have some cucumbers here and spinach and colorful carrots and radishes yes sliced radishes added 
vinegar to this and I usually use a Trader Joe's vinegar white vinegar but today I just used whatever I have in my pantry which is rice vinegar and uh yeah it, it does the job so uh, I'm just you know winging it at this point <laughs> and as you saw I forgot to add the the chickpeas earlier so I just kind of added it in while it was roasting still the veggies so I just added it and it it looks so good, right? Oh my gosh. So I kind of added a lot of it in my sandwich. So uh, this is what it looks like if you were wondering. You can't really, it's kind of blurry, huh? This whole time I've been pronouncing this La Croix and I took French for seven years now and it's kind of embarrassing because I can't speak like really good French. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you talk to me. But anyways, so I've been pronouncing this La Croix because I, I didn't really realize until today after like 50 years I've been drinking this thing I realized there was an I. There was an I in the croix part. So I've been pronouncing it la croix because in French, you know, without the I, it's like la croix, you know? But then it was like, oh no, there's an I. I realized that I was embarrassing myself this whole time. It's la croix, right? La croix. I discovered La Croix actually when I started my Whole30 challenge before I became a vegan and so I'm so happy that I discovered this brand, this beverage, because it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. These roasted carrots though. If you guys were wondering how the vegan egg tastes, it's really like a, it looks like an egg sort of, but it doesn't really taste like an egg. You guys need to try this because it's so good and it's great for post-workout. You know me, eating a lot after my 10 mile run. For dessert, I'm actually having some green figs that are in the freezer aisle of Trader Joe's. I've actually tried the apricot ones of the same sort of vibes, you know, freezer aisle vibes. The apricot apricot ones are also delicious and the figs are just my favorite. And so I'm just gonna have some figs for dessert today because they're so good. This is like my life. I have LaCroix. I edit like this. If you follow my Instagram or Snapchat, you know you're very familiar with this messy background. <laughs> me sitting here in front of my couch editing. The time has come when I can finally eat my dinner and I apologize in advance because my lighting is just so orangey but But look at this, guys. This is my signature miso lentil dish. And basically, you just need one tablespoon of miso, vegan miso, that is, and no dashi, no fish broth stuff, about one cup of water and lentils. And I'm using red split lentils from Trader Joe's. Again, not sponsored or anything, but. I went on a huge Trader Joe's haul. I've been seeing this this whole video. I love it. And it has some basil and some oregano on it for extra flavor. So that is it for this video today. If you guys enjoyed watching my What I Ate in a Day video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, complete my dinner or finish my dinner so if you'll excuse me i'll see you guys in my next video and love you guys i'm finished for today i might have a, another Lacroix though